Electrification isn't just about decarbonising our in-house fleet. It's about building a more sustainable logistic network while meeting the future demands of our customers. Mitsui has its roots in Japan and has grown into a diverse investment and trading company that operates in over 60 countries across a broad range of industries. As part of our global energy transition strategy, we aim to provide a stable supply of energy while finding ways to help businesses and industries to decarbonize. We've invested in the Mobility House that aims to be a leader in harnessing electric vehicles to contribute to balancing electricity grid demand and supply and supporting the growth of renewable energy sources. We are now seeing a global rise in both electric vehicles and renewables such as solar and wind. With more renewables in the mix comes the challenge of intermittency and one of the ways we're looking to tackle this is through investment in energy storage solutions. There are two big industries that we together with Mitsui support. One is obviously the mobility sector and the other one is the energy sector. In the beginning we started with providing charging solutions to make sure that the car is charged in the morning. That was level one. Level two was then the smart charging. By optimizing the charging events, we make sure that overnight we charge the cars as much as they need to be charged for the next route in the morning. This smart charging technology is particularly interesting for fleets because imagine you bring in 20 cars on the same depot and you need to charge them overnight. We make sure that all the vehicles are full in the morning without adding additional infrastructure costs on that depot. In the logistics industry, fleet electrification is a major step towards meeting decarbonisation goals. The issue we faced across our site was trying to manage the electricity usage along with our current operations and the addition of the EVs. A site like this uses a lot of power in its daily operations. When all the EVs were turned at the same time and plug in, this would overload the current infrastructure. Working with our partners, the Mobility House and E-Station, we were able to use their technology to manage this load. 24 electric vehicles on site here, and the power is monitored the whole time from this point here, and controlled from the charge pilot over here, which is from the Mobility House. Yeah, it's pretty impressive to think that over 85% of our in-house fleet is controlled within this small location. The Mobility House technology allowed us to use our current infrastructure while helping us towards our sustainability goals. DHL in Ireland is a role model of how electrification can happen very efficiently now. With smart charging, you can save money and vehicle to grid. The next level is then, on top of smart charging, you can take the energy in the car and sell it back to the grid and also help the energy provider and the grid to be more stable. When we had this idea 15 years ago, the car maker said there are no electric cars. Once there were electric cars, they said, don't fool around with my battery. On the other side, the utilities and the energy industry was very skeptic because they said, should we allow decentralized assets into our system? So we had to prove to many, many parties that this system works and battery can do the job. Elva Linkson was interesting because it represents the transition of the old world into the new world. So we invested in the site to prove that car batteries can help to stabilize the grid and putting car batteries in the rack was easier for people to acknowledge that the batteries are there. So we could still prove car batteries can help to stabilize the grid. So people start to see that electric cars are not part of the problem, but part of the solution. We're excited to bring the Mobility House to Japan, where electric vehicles are gaining traction. We've launched a test site in Tokyo, collaborating with our industry partners to demonstrate smart charging systems to potential new customers. We see this as just the beginning of our journey to develop an ecosystem that supports both the grid and EV owners in Japan. The Mobility House is a technology company, so we provide the technology and we need a partner to roll out this technology on a global scale. And Mitsui is a perfect partner to do that with their global presence and their great relationships into many different industries. This is why this cooperation is working so well. By partnering with the Mobility House to grow in new markets, we believe in supporting a future of electric mobility that helps stabilize power grids and creates new economic opportunities. We're excited to be exploring new technologies and we're hopeful about the contributions they'll have on the path towards a decarbonised future.